Welcome to Video Church School for the Seacon Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. My name is Kristen Putney and I am the Director of Faith Formation and Youth Ministry. Welcome to everyone. This is a multi-age video and so everyone in the home is welcome to engage. First, I would like to have a look at the altar and maybe you are noticing a theme. If you guessed planting seeds of faith and seeds of kindness, you are right. So have a look here. I have a beautiful sunflower pot. I have a painting that my friend Amy did. She is an educator on the Cape and has beautiful uh, flowers that are growing. Actually on the cross, this is from the church school. There's a sunflower on the cross and we have the Christ candle. And do you see my sign? Miss you all. And so I want to begin there. I miss all of you so much. It's been a long time. We have not been able to go back into the classroom. And now we are into the summer. Today is June 21st. It's the first day of summer. Uh, many of you actually finished school this week. And a few of you I know, some of the towns are finishing up next week. So we have a new season to enjoy. I also want to mention that today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers and grandfathers and uncles and the big brothers that do fathering. Anyone that is a father to others, we celebrate you today. On my altar, I am going to continue to talk about Seeds of Kindness, but on, on my altar I have a picture of this young girl that I met. And I met her in 2012 when I went to Haiti. And so I have her picture here because the church school children have been, and families, have been collecting money for One Egg Haiti. And that is um, part of Seeds of Kindness. So if you have your monies, you have chore cards, and you want to get them to me, um, I can bring them into the church office if they're quarters and dollars. That's what says uh, each chore was a quarter or a dollar bill or what have you. Or you can just collect all the money and write out a check and send it into the church office. So just contact me and I can give you the correct information. And thank you for your seeds of kindness for the one egg Haiti. That's one egg, one day for one child in Haiti. Very important. Uh, there's another day that I want to talk about beyond uh, the first day of summer and Father's Day, and that is June 19th. On Friday, it was a very special day for many people, and it's, it was called Juneteenth. So maybe many of you know exactly what I'm talking about, and maybe some of you do not. So I'm going to read to you what the definition of Juneteenth is. It is a holiday celebrated on June 19th to commemorate the emancipation of the enslaved people in the U.S. The holiday was first celebrated in Texas, where on that date in 1865, in the aftermath of the Civil War, slaves were declared free under the terms of the 1862 Emancipation Proclamation. So those are a lot of big words, but basically it was the end of slavery and the black people are celebrating this very special day. But today in our world, it's even more important um, for us to understand and to educate ourselves. And so that's my first activity. Um, I want to invite all of you in, the, in your families to learn more about black history. Maybe you have books in your home or you could easily go online. Or I have many books as well, so you could borrow them. I went into the church school, church school classrooms and I found three books that I wanted to just share with you. I remember the Amistad, great information of black history. I love this book and this is just an easy reader, Great Black Heroes, Five Brave Explorers, so men and women in history, throughout history, that persevered and they made a difference in the world. And they were five black people. And so these are stories that maybe we're unaware of. That's so important to understand. And then this is a story of two sisters. The Delaney sisters reach high. And so 
I'm sure there are many more that you could find or borrow from others, but certainly contact me. And this is so important. Last week I talked about skin colors, I talked about racism, and I used a lot of different words. And I wanna to continue to talk about moving forward together, and in particular, educating ourselves so that we can all make a difference. We're in these times, the pandemic times, where things are so uncertain and they are changing. And so certainly different movements are changing the world. And our goal is to create it as God's vision, a peaceful place that everyone is equal. Our first activity is gonna be a way to pray. It's not an activity, it's part of the video, the first part. And it's called Pray and Toss. So if you have seeds, I invite you to grab a handful of seeds. And maybe you are unaware that you actually have seeds. You might have packets of seeds, but do you feed the birds? Maybe you have a bird feeder. Go to the bag of seeds. That's what I did. And here they are. Put them in your hand. And I want you to have a good look at these, at the seeds that you have in your hand. You can look at mine. But look at how tiny they are. For the littlest ones, maybe it's very hard to believe that these little tiny seeds, look at this is a sunflower seed. Look how tiny it is, right? It's gonna grow in the ground and become that and then taller. And so in our prayer, we're gonna take one seed or a handful of seeds, hold them in your hand. You're gonna think about these little, little tiny seeds and how important it is for them to grow. And we're gonna say these words together. I'll send them to you as well. Loving God, you can repeat after me. May we plant seeds of kindness. May we grow flowers of justice. May we see gardens of peace. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you, we should do this outside because you're gonna toss the seeds onto the ground, either in a garden bed or in a pot on dirt. I'm just gonna throw mine right here, but you're gonna toss them. And when you toss them, you will say blessings upon these seeds and all of us, amen. So think about that special prayer. The next part I'd like to move into is scripture. And my middle schoolers, they focus on a scripture from Mark that has to do with a seed. Do you remember what it is? The mustard seed. Look how tiny the mustard seed is. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So hear now these words from the Gospel of Mark. And Jesus said, with what can we compare the vision of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade May God bless these words to our hearing and our understanding. Amen. So that's such an important scripture. Jesus is telling the story, and it reminds me of what we just talked about, seeds of kindness. And that, that little tiny mustard seed, if you have all your faith, it will grow into an abundant, abundant tree, a large tree. And so we think about that on our journey. It reminds me of a book, a children's book that was given out to all the school children, the local school. This was years ago, but I think they still do it. Does this look familiar? Have you filled a bucket today? It's a very similar story to the Bible. But this is a story that the teachers used to teach the children and the parents how important it is to have these seeds of kindness. 
And so they talked in terms of the symbolism of a bucket, of an empty bucket. And they felt that the children, were, or the author, I, sh I didn't mention her name, Carol McLeod, said that children are like an invisible bucket. And they can be filled with love and kindness. And by doing that, they soon learn to fill other buckets, other people's buckets with the same thing, love and kindness. And in this book, there's a challenge. It, the children and in the school system, they were challenged to see how many good deeds they could do each day at the end of the day to make sure they had filled their bucket. So I'm gonna read a couple of pages from, I won't read the whole thing, but I really liked, I liked this page. You fill a bucket when you show love to someone and when you say or do something kind or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. See that? The nice, kind gestures. But here's another part of the story that maybe you didn't think about. It's great to do kind things, but guess what happens when you don't do something kind? But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip it into a bucket when you make, the, make fun of someone, or when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper. A bucket dipper is a bully. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. See? So let's keep that in mind. Have you filled your bucket today? This book, I, you can, I'm sure you can get it online or you can, I have several copies. You can borrow the book from me. I also have, I was looking online and I found I love this video because it involves a song and I love the message. The song was written by Pam Donkin. So I'm gonna share this with you. I am planting seeds of love in my heart. I am planting seeds of love in my heart. And as they grow, I take them everywhere I go. I am planting seeds of love in my heart And as they grow, they overflow In every part of my heart Heart to heart, friend to friend Sing it out again I am planting seeds of peace Seeds 
you like that? It's a little catchy, isn't it? I love the message, of course. Planting seeds of love in my heart as they grow. I take everywhere I go. As they grow, they overflow. Every part of my heart, heart to heart, friend to friend. And then seeds of peace and seeds of song. So thank you, Pam. It was a great uh, original song. And thank you allowing everyone to share it. She shares it with teachers and with parents. So thank you. I will send out the link. Um, actually, the link is www.plantingseedsoflove.com, but I'll send out more of the information, my email. Another activity that I invite you all to do, it's not planting seeds of kindness, but spreading kindness rocks. So a little bit ago, I was walking and I saw a shiny rock and I picked it up. I knew exactly what it was for, but this is what I found. Be brave. It's a shiny rock, it's been varnished. And this is handwritten or painted by someone. And I turned it over and on the back side, it says the Kindness Rock Project from Rehoboth, Massachusetts. So that is what I'm gonna ask all of you to do. Something very simple. You can, you can do a bunch of them and you can go online and look up that, the Kindness Rock Project. But just for all of you, just to do something kind, you could, I went in my backyard, got three flat rocks and you can use Shoppies or paint. Um, craft paint works the best. If you can varnish it afterwards, that would be great, or even clear nail polish. But if not, no worries. And write a simple message. And I invite all of you to at least do three rocks. And maybe you could start with, you can write any message on there. But I have three messages that are easy that go along with what I'm saying. One is, of course, be kind, right? Be peace, that's easy to write. You can draw images on it as well. And be love, and I just did a heart. So I invite you to do that. As I said, you can use Shoppies. You can write any message you want. Here's the other one, be brave. And then you can keep them or you can put them out in your yard for people to take or put them in your pocket and when you go for a walk, leave them for others to find. And sometimes the message that's on there is just what somebody needs. If you wanna write on the back where, you, where it was from, your town, that's fine. So I invite you to do that. And before I end with sign language, the last thing that I would like to mention, we are in the summer season and I'm gonna to continue to do my weekly church video just like this that everyone can hopefully engage and enjoy. I'll have activities. But I want to mention that our Vacation Bible School is still planned, but it will be a virtual version. It's planned for August 3rd through the 7th. The theme is at the zoo. I will have brochures or flyers um, through the email. They'll be mailed to you as well. And it will be free and it will be online in Basically, it will be an hour in the morning. Uh, we'll all come on together and we'll share. We'll have video, scripture, song, prayer. And then another hour in the afternoon. But that hour is going to be exciting in that it's going to be a how-to. So on one day, it'll be how to do an art project. I'll probably do that one. Another one will be how to make a non-baked food item. And all the ingredients or supplies that you will need will be uh, listed ahead of time. Um, one afternoon would be how to, um, I think I will do like a dress up and everybody can kind of dress up and be an animal. And then one of the days actually we'll have a live stream of um, two exciting animals of somebody from the church. And then on Friday, it's gonna be, it's, it's not gonna be virtual. It's actually gonna be on site and you will be invited to drive through and witness all different animals that people have in their cars or outside um, in a cage. 
and we might have to make it an appointment. We'll have to see where we are as far as safety, but that'll be exciting. And then throughout the week, all the parents will be invited to send in pictures of their children um, and parents as well uh, experiencing Vacation Bible School and we'll put together a slideshow. So it's something exciting. Okay, and then the last part is sign language and I'm gonna teach you how to sign plant seeds of kindness and love. So the word for the sign language for the words plant seeds, so your hand up comes up like this. See, like I'm holding, like I'm holding seeds and then move it forward like you're sprinkling seeds. So that's planting seeds, plant seeds. And kindness is easy. It's just like this, kindness and love. So let's do that, plant seeds of kindness and love. Right? So everyone take care, enjoy the summer, and I'll see you next week. Amen.